The science being done on board the International Space Station covers a wide range of disciplines, from some very complex laboratory experiments and research using the human body as a test subject, to visual observations of the Earth, and it includes some educational outreach efforts. One of those is called Storytime from Space, and that is on the agenda for flight engineer Kimia Yui of Japan today. We're going to learn more about it from Patricia Tribe. She's one of the co-principal investigators who joins us from her home in Penticton, British Columbia. Uh, good morning, Patricia. Good morning. Thank you for having me. The, uh, the basic operation of this experiment, what Kimia is doing today, involves astronauts reading books to children. Can you, you tell me where the idea for this came from and what you hope to achieve from it? Uh, the idea came uh, while I was making pasta dinner one night. <laughs> um, actually, I had been doing some research on education and, um, and literacy and the amount of time that teachers were spending in increasing the amount of literacy and language arts time that they were doing in classroom. And then I was noticing that some of the other data was showing us that almost the exact same amount of time that they were increasing was being decreased in the sciences. And I thought, gee, we need we need both. We need to, you know, keep up our language art skills with all of our students. And we also need to keep up our science skills and learn those science concepts. And so the idea just came to me, you know, how can we use the amazing, exciting, fun world of space to combine language arts and uh, STEM education? Now, the crew members on board the station, they're not just reading any old book, are they? There, there are some special materials. Right. We have 12 books. Five are up there right now. And those books are written by Jeffrey Bennett, and they're um, a series of books about Max, a dog that goes on adventures out into space. And um, so I would encourage anybody to, to grab those. Um, they are awesome books because they have a story, but then they also have science boxes on the sides of each page that goes into the science content within the stories in a more in-depth. And so what you're going to see being done today up on orbit is the reading of those science boxes and a discussion about the science concepts. So we like to have it have some science background and content to it, and um, that's how we're, we're looking at the books that we're picking. And, and all of this is, is getting videotaped on orbit, and that's how it gets yes. distributed to, to the children, right? right. Right. It's getting videotaped, and then um, we have the other seven books going up, and those books are going to be read and um, as a whole story, first of all. So we'll have the whole story read, and then we're also sending up in March um, on SpaceX 9, uh, nine science demonstrations that tie all the content from the books into STEM real science demonstrations that the astronauts are also going to be doing and videotaping. So we'll combine all of that content, the stories, the science boxes, and the science demonstrations into programs and materials for educators and science centers and families as well. And this is not the first time that uh, an astronaut has read a book for you. This, you've done this for a few years. Uh, tell me about the response that you've gotten and, and the, how wide this is being, widely this is being distributed. <laughs> Well, we, we pilot tested this. Um, I had that idea of you know what we could do, having stories and, and science combined. And um, I passed that idea through Alvin Drew. And um, he was about to fly on STS-133 at the time. And um, he was super excited about the idea and said, you know, why aren't we doing this? This just makes complete sense. It's one of those things that it's so simple and so practical. We've just overlooked doing something like this. And, um, and so he pilot tested it on um, STS-133, and Nicole Stott read a book for us, and Michael Barrett did as well. And so we piloted it, but we were using the books electronically, and we found that that didn't have quite the same flair as actually holding a book you know, and turning it around just like you're having a story time with your child or with your students in class. Showing them the pictures. 
Yes, exactly. And so, and so we adapted it, and um, and then we've been working with NASA and Cases to get the um, the books and the science demonstrations up to orbit for the last few years. And in fact, a lot of this material is available for anybody to see uh, online now, right? Right. We are starting to get um, we get the video of the reading of the book back down, and then it goes through some editing. And um, once it's edited, we are putting that rough edit online for anybody to see, and it's also on YouTube. And so if they go to storytimefromspace.com, and then there'll be a little header that says video library, you can see there's two, and there will be a third um, reading up online very shortly. And the same thing will happen as we get those science box readings back and we get the science demonstration videos back. They will all go on to this website. And the website address again? Storytimefromspace.com. Storytimefromspace.com. Patricia yes. Tribe, thanks very much for, uh, for letting us know about what's going on. Well, thank you for having me, and I appreciate all the support that NASA's been giving us. Patricia Tribe is one of the co-principal investigators of the Storytime from Space experiment. It's now underway on board the International Space Station.